Hello YouTube and welcome back in. Hopefully audio issues have been resolved from here going forward. Uh, if that is not the case, please let me know. Uh, but we are back. We're going to be, we're, we've made our decision on Jakarta. You also see some pins. Uh, it took some, took some time offline here to, to plan some, uh, some districts and things like that. You can, yes, even see the industrial zones that I'm planning. Uh, in most of the cities, this city really doesn't have a good one. And so I don't think it's worth it to build. I don't know how the heck they're ever going to build like Chichen, like we're planning and stuff. Uh, but we'll just, we'll just dream big over here and hopefully get a Zimbabwe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we've decided to keep Jakarta. I actually came in uh, talking to chat about how we were going to raise it and move it over here to grab all the stuff. However, we've we have, I eventually reluctantly admitted that like this is a slightly better like district setup, gets us the campus we want, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and and then if we actually keep Jakarta, we get the option to do their campus here, and we actually keep give Jakarta a good campus. Uh, and that's a pretty big deal, I think, uh, versus moving all the way over here. Uh, and then eventually I thought about, oh, let's settle the ivory. And it's like, well, am I, am I going to raise this just to move the city one? No, we're not going to do that. It's going to leave a bit of a dead space down here. Like we, we didn't get an exact like southeast city, uh, but I think it's fine. We can bring this settler down here, settle. We can bring this one over there, settle. Boom, we've got all our cities. I think the snowballing into taking like dominating the rest of the world would work absolutely fine uh and, and we've done that before i think what i would like with this game because maya is so new and and i'm still learning them um try to try to play to her strengths raise this city uh and then turtle up start chopping out stuff build our districts etc etc it also prevents me from having to like push on for like niter units and things like that so what does that mean uh means that i'm keeping this so that is official. Uh, it means that I can potentially do what here? Not much at the moment. Um, the lack of housing really sucks. We definitely want a few, like a bunch of builders. I really just need to start economizing. We need to get to feudalism for all the, uh, for all the builder charges and things like that. I guess I'll say I'll wait for yeah I'll wait for feudalism to really go t like super crazy on builders. I don't mind getting like one or two now. We can run limes in two turns. Um, yeah, but I don't think we're gonna continue on with the war effort too much. I know that disappoints some people, but again, I wanna I wanna try to uh, play to her strengths and, and do what we're supposed to do. Pachacuti got the jebel. Uh, it's crazy to me that Machu Picchu isn't gone at turn 77. If I could get it, it would change all of our districting and stuff for the better because Machu Picchu is amazing. Um, but in the meantime, like we'll we'll probably bring our army down here and try to harass this city. We could even raise it, although we're not sharing tiles anymore. We didn't pick up a lot of the nice uh, uh, Mato uh, tiles, but that's okay. Classic era in 10 turns. Uh, we might hit a Dark Age, and that could actually be really bad. Um, that could be really, really bad. Again, I'm bringing down our units here just to pressure. Missed our... Missed our profit... Kind of brutal. Been watching the Cree playthrough. Love it. Do I have a religion playthrough? There are tons of religion playthroughs. I need to at some point go through it and get some descriptions on those playlists. Uh, I've gotten that feedback already. I just haven't had time to do it. Haven't had time to do it. Uh, to Tomoto, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Let's go ahead and trade our luxury resources here. Although he doesn't want to. Cool. He wants both for eight gold per turn, and I'm pretty happy about that. We could also give him open borders. That's a Diplo thing. Try to make some friends along the way. Uh, 
I know I need an intern. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. <laughs> Do I like diplomatic victory type? Um, no, although I, I, uh, I've been told it's much, much better with apocalypse mode. Um, so I'm that my opinion on it may change. Would it be worthwhile to buy them some tiles? Um, potentially. Yeah, I could like buy down to here and just like grab these and not have to worry about losing tiles anymore. It doesn't seem like a great use of our, our money, but honestly, that wheat tile probably is. I could put in the tile uh, by policy here in a second. I also can pull back from oligarchy and go back into classic republic, um, although we may want to end the war first. Because she's not expanding to this anytime soon unless she uh, buys it, right? And I don't really have to keep going for military stuff. I can I can go back to Petra or just go right to apprenticeship, which I think will be the plan. Oh, hi. Running away. Oh, God. Okay. How long until we can make peace here? Five more turns? Oh, I already did that one. Oops. All right, so we're done with our settler. We switch policies. That is good. We can run limes to finish up these walls or get them elsewhere. I have a brave settler traversing the world. How are you doing? Your housing capped already. Yeah, builders. Builders is our biggest thing right now. We need builders. We need to chop stuff. We need to uh, improve our cities. I think I'm going to go into a dark age. Defense. She's got swords. We don't want to overcommit to this. I'm just trying to be a bit a bit of a bully and pressure her. Thank you. I'm not on Twitch enough to sub, but wanted to show some support. Thank you. Love your YT content. <laughs> You're the best sub streamer out there. Thanks for the many hours of entertainment. Thank you, Zendark. That is so kind of you. Thank you for the thousand bits. I appreciate the value for value. Uh, and again, uh, ho hopefully this video makes it up to YouTube tonight and that can uh, be less quiet. It's too quiet over there on the YouTubes. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. Let's um, let's move over here then, since we're bringing that city along. This one's almost ready. I'm not at war with Leventa, am I? That would be embarrassing. No, we're not. Thank goodness. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. All right, up to feudalism. And then we'll go build her, build her crazy. I wish we were hitting a golden age here. We've got a good amount of faith uh, stockpiled already so temple huh temple in the cap oh i didn't plan the rear valley that's the one thing that we we're really supposed to do i guess it can just do the it can just go here TOA is really not that good. The 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 thing that could put pressure me into going for TOA here is is the three housing and the growth rate. But with all of these uh, all of the jungle tiles that we're going to be able to chop here, I don't think I'm really too worried about it. Tens of dollars, <laughs> indeed. Thank you so much. Indeed, indeed. Uh, three of six housing. Really want the builders. Maybe we just get the granary for now. I could use I could use the growth rate, and I really do want to wait for feudalism for the builders. We get a chop policy here. I'm not really worried about it. We could take surplus logistics, uh, but I don't think that's that good in the long run. I might be interested in a Pingala now. Or an Amani, but the cities the, the AI's taking advantage of the city states way better than they used to. We take Amani and send them to, to uh, Geneva. 
I don't hate that, actually. Let's do that. Let's do that. You go to Geneva. What map is it? It's a Pangea map. Small Pangea. Could use the culture, too. Um, I'll keep, I'll stay in oligarchy probably until feudalism then, since I'm, I'm, I am, like, we have a few, few turns here, uh, left to pressure. Uh, we could maybe go for a faster policy switch. I'll, I'll start committing, uh, culture to feudalism for now. And then we don't need the settler policy. We're done with that. I could go ahead and grab those tiles now with the tile bio policy again. Uh, limes make some, probably a lot of, a lot of sense though. Let's just get some walls up and running. Finish those out. And I want to chop that. We'll go ahead and take take the chop. Build walls in the meantime. The scout's totally gonna die. Uh, Zub and Grub. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Place my plus zero observatory. Probably work on a monument, though. All right. I don't want to be this far overextended with her coming at me with troops. Let's just take some defensive positions here. <laughs> wow, thank you, Zabin Grub. I watched on YouTube for a while, made a Twitch account specifically for this. Welcome in. Again, sorry it's been quiet over on YouTube. Uh, I've had a weird few weeks, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll start getting these games up on it uh, tonight. Tonight. So thanks for stopping in. I love that. That's really cool. I don't need this chariot to come. <laughs> Guy's going to die. Hey, come on. I'm not that mean. Okay, rip that guy. Um, yeah, pretty interested in pulling this guy out a little bit more. Place their commercial hub, but I want to lock in into the earlier. If you're going to go industrial zones, you got to get them right away. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to get there on time here. I, can, I guess I could work on the government plaza. The city gets fairly tall, a decent amount of farmland. Hey, Axe Wolf. Welcome, welcome. Anyone else think camp should buff the observatory too? I just think it's if, you, if they just change it to where the plantation resources provide the adjacency and not the plantations themselves, then I like the observatory much better. But what's up, Doc? How you doing? Yeah, pyramids is interesting. We have the chops for it, theoretically. You'd rather see farms give plus one instead of a half? Wait, but they give a one and a half. They give one and a half total, though. Give me the granary. Feels weird. I need chops, so I need these builders like crazy, which is why I think I'm going to save my money. A 
This will be a settlement on a new continent if I can get there in time. And it looks like we should be able to. Why not pyramids? Um, I'm just, I'm worried it's a little late in the game to be going for pyramids. Like I'm worried that if I, if I commit like to, to, to buying a tile and then, and then going after it, that I'm going to miss it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think, I think pyramids is fantastic for us. I'm just not sure that you guys really want to see it. Okay, fine. Want, do we want it here or here? I don't think so. Yeah, zero results. All right, let's take it. Let's take a stab at it. I could I could go double theater square here instead of this one if I wanted to. Or we could build Petra here and try to get a plus four theater square. That might be good. Yes, we'll finish the Canada game. Uh, we're not going to finish the existing uh, uh, Grand Columbia game. We're going to do a fresh one of those hopefully later this week. Try to make it a decent campus. Okay. No hour of life is. So six era score and I can avoid a dark. I don't think we really want any dark age policies. There goes TOA. There we go. We make this much better now. It's a plus two. This is plus four when we finish it. Um, and then, yeah, I need to start getting these things. like to prevent this settler. Even just to, to deny her a city. Uh, we are running limes at the moment, so grabbing our walls here in the cap isn't the worst idea, although it's not really that helpful. Afternoon. I really want to get these at builders the game going mechanic. very close. Very close to be able to do that. I'll, I'll, I'll build the wall just because we're running the policy. Dakari, thank you so much for the 14 months, dude. Welcome back. Good afternoon to you. So a bunch of era score for settling this new continent. Still looking for four more. Can we flip a city state that we're at war with? No. No. I think again, because I'm running the policy, 
I'm going to go ahead and make this chop, build the walls. Yeah, do I want to commit half my money to levying here? I don't know. Uh, you you only get era score for the observatory once. It doesn't matter what the adjacency is on it. it. As a unique district, it doesn't matter what your adjacency is. You just get the era score for itself. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I think maybe we'll just be happy with a dark age. I mean, maybe not happy, but maybe we'll just get a dark age. Three turns. Just don't see it happening. Don't have enough faith to, like, snag anything. Pressure's on. Can you make peace? So she doesn't want to give me anything. I'm going to continue to pressure her and see if I can get any money out of it. Um, gold to era score? Not really. Um, don't have any strategics to really make it happen. I really can't convert gold to era score at the moment. I mean, I can buy, I can levy, but it's not enough. I need four. Do I trade with him just because to try to improve our diplomacy? I think so. This is a terrible deal. But the whole world hates us. You don't get three error score for an outstanding observatory if, you, if you're building one? Nope. We have already gotten our error score for the observatory, regardless of the adjacency. You don't get to double dip on unique districts and splendid uh, districts. Yeah, her, her, just her units in general have been doing work for us. Cool. All right, so we go into a dark age. Uh, hopefully, this isn't too punishing. One of the one of the downsides is because we can't really grow without a bunch of builder charges. We can have loyalty issues real, real quick, right? Um, so everybody else, though, in just a normal over here, minus Pachacuti, who is fairly inconsequential. So I shouldn't have to worry about losing any loyalty up here. Obviously, our brand new cities uh, are struggling a little bit, but we're about to grow here. Um, and fairly soon, we'll be able to improve all this. So I'm not too, too worried. It's barely falling loyalty-wise. So uh, we will go with free inquiry. Uh, we're going to start to get our libraries and stuff. We are definitely going for scientific Eurekas. We're about to get the apprenticeship one. So hopefully this can go into a heroic next. Um, as Brazil, you actually do get, you get to double dip on, on district era score because you get, you can get uh, era score for your Copacabana and the, um, uh, street carnival. All right, so what's what do our roads look like? Maybe we'll uh, we'll just bring in because we did this, so we have you tied in. Maybe we'll just uh, like go here. All 
All right, I want to start building builders. So we'll put in the builder policy and try to get some builders close to uh, close to finished. Pyramids coming. Just do that after the granaries, I suppose. Sounds sounds good, Zug Zug. Have fun. So there's wheel, iron working, there's two Eurekas, two era score already. We want an extra trade route. That seems good. And then buildings in the city center is fine. Uh, and that's the one that's probably going to win. Um, campus would be great too, especially since we're going to get era score for libraries and stuff. But I think we, if I just vote for city center, we should win it like this. I could be wrong. Let's find out. Oh, he won this though. How much did he commit to it? He went for five there. Oh, they're spending that a little bit better. Okay, good Good to know. Good to know. All right, so city center buildings are building faster. That's fine, but we want builders. Builders everywhere. Yeah, Scythia looks ready to attack. Uh, that's obviously a bit concerning. I might need to pull back our army because of that then. She still doesn't want that. I should probably stop screwing around with her, though. She looks kind of poised to come and uh, harass us. And I don't want to get caught without an army. Just vanilla. Okay. Fine. So I don't know if you noticed that, um, but I kind of cheated the system there. We made peace, got kicked out of her land, and now I can like make my way home. Otherwise, I wasn't I wasn't going to be able to uh, get up on that tile this particular turn. All right, we're gonna get that Eureka in just a second. Temple, Diplo points, etc., etc. Okay. Okay. Um. Hot cattle with the tier two. Welcome back for thirty months. I cheesing. I I think I said cheesing. Cheating the system, you say? I might have said cheating. It's semantics. So good to see you, hot cattle. Thank you so much for the thirty months. Thank you for the tier two. How have you been, my friend? Good to see you. How's the little teacup? Please no. Please no. <laughs> I'm going to vote all of it. Please no. I'm not, I don't want this. I don't want this. I got some walls. <laughs> yes. Thank God. Oh, we needed to commit it all to. Teddy voted no against that. And yeah, she's itching. She was itching for that fight and she wanted some revenge. That makes sense here. But thank you, Teddy, <laughs> breaking that tie for us. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, it's all good. You have a baby. You don't have to apologize for anything, Hot Cuddle. That is awesome. Glad to hear it. Teddy being a total bro. I love don't it. Don't reinvent in democracy. Alrighty, so that obsoletes our builder charge policy, but now we can start going a little bit ham on those. Uh, hopefully I won't have to fight her because I'm ready to make this change as well. I want serfdom in here now. Um, and then 
Probably unit maintenance still. It's about five gold per turn. Or something I would like more. Twilight Valor, we might have to run if Scythia attacks. I'm going to run this for a second. I want to grab that, that tile. I guess I'll do that one. Just to be annoying about it. All right, and then I'm going to buy them because they're they're having issues with loyalty. I'm going to buy them a builder for sure. We're running the extra charges, so we're getting full value. Uh, I can run them here. I'm looking for easy tile improvements. Something like that. Probably because I gave him the chocolate for almost nothing. Yeah, that could have been Teddy Roosevelt. Did you miss Simone? No, uh, I don't think so. This is not a great place to buy a builder. Here we have lots of chops. I guess I buy a builder here and maybe try to chop out pyramids. And then there goes my money. Should also go after natural philosophy here in a second. I'll see if I can get the drum and poetry boost with pyramids though. Uh, two envoys available. We go all the way up with that in Geneva. Oh, I could have run Diplo League here. I didn't realize I had two. I'll hold them for the time being. She's spoiling for a fight. Everything has its I don't Seems underrated. like it anyways. I think our archers will be able to hold her off, uh, maybe. Let's chop. Oh, actually I don't want to use this guy's charge. Let's not use our last builder charges in case we can get this pyramids. I think I like the gold the most. Culture, though. Oh, we should probably do the culture. Eh, give, me the, give me the gold. Give me the gold for now. Sure. Again, I'm looking to trade. I, I don't really care what the deals are, um, and we'll be able to we'll be able to grab the culture once we're at military training because we can send this off envoy out before. Uh, I guess I should have gone with the culture first to get here faster. Eh. Oh well. Oh well. Pachacuti rock, rocking science and culture. Yeah, we're way behind. We stifled him a bit though. Gonna get walls here. Could upgrade this guy too. Just in case. I think I'm gonna do it now. Alright, don't use this charge. Let's see if we get this baby. Pretty close. Hey, Spring, thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say, hey, man, just want to say I'm enjoying the stream. Just started playing Civ 6 after not having played for a few years and watching someone who's good at it is helpful. Uh, and we have a community that's very helpful, too. Uh, it, our, our, we're, the channel is growing, and that's an amazing problem to have. Uh, what it means is I can't pay quite the attention to and respond to every single chat comment like I used to. Uh, but that being said, I have an amazing we have an amazing chat here who knows pretty much everything about Civ 6 collectively. And so if you do have questions and stuff or anything specific, please don't be shy about asking. 
be happy to help you out if we can. All right, let's go after our aqueducts. We're about to get these boosts. Now we can grow loyalty stabilizing. That's good. We're working that tile instead of this one. That's eh, okay. The helpful hive mind, yeah. It's kind of crazy. It's weird. Trying to set up um, defensively over here, like in the woods and stuff, in case she does try to attack me. No demands. No demands. Hey, Tamorius. Uh, ask for tablet recommendations in Tech Talk and Discord. Any suggestions would be appreciated. Cool. If, if any if any of you guys are tablet experts uh, soliciting a tablet opinion out of anybody. I, I have I've never owned an iPad. Um, I have owned some Android tablets, but that was for my old job. Um, they were fine. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm a little out of date on my uh, my tech stuff. I'm usually somewhat tech savvy, but uh, it's it's been a while since I've been like a regular listener of like tech podcasts and things like I used to. All right, I like our position now. I'm not too worried about her. Wow, we grabbed this. That's great. We'll grab that too. We don't have any horses otherwise. From the height of these pyramids. Cool. Forty centuries. So, good job, chat. It was the correct decision to go go after this baby. Pyramids, as I said, amazing. Best wonder in the game. Best wonder in the game. Now we have extra charge here, so I can go ahead and do that. Get our apprenticeship boost. I will finish engineering, but then we'll also want to finish apprenticeship. Getting closer to that. Getting closer to that. Yeah, I could have bought all our builders with the Liang City. That would have been a good way to do it, too. But I liked buying them here. When you're not in a monumentality golden age, you don't really have the luxury to do what I just said. Magic. Murphy, thank you so much for the 13 months. Lucky 13 indeed. Thank you very, very much for that. Sub I, lucky 13. I appreciate that immensely. Thank you so much, and thank you for the ongoing support, my friend. I appreciate you. <laughs> okay. So now what? Farm triangles. What? This guy building farm triangles and aqueducts? Who is he and what has he done with TGM? I think it's... Is it too late to make a... So Coliseum has changed and seems more gettable now. Am I too late to, to try to make a play for it, you guys? They've just changed the prioritization. It seems like the AI isn't isn't running to it right away, Zendark. They, they, it was really difficult to get in the last iteration of the game. EF Winterstorm, thank you so much for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome into the shop. Thank you very, very much for that. Enjoy those emotes. I think it's too late, but it felt the same for the pyramids. Yeah. If we can get it, it's absolutely glorious. I think I am going to make a play for it. OK. 
Okay. I guess. Um. So where do I, if I build it here, it's kind of what I'm looking at. If we try to make it here, two, four, six, two, four, six. It's one away from hitting that, but that's okay. Two, four, six. Hits that. Two, four, five. Yep. So it hits all, it hits seven cities. So Colosseum for us is worth, what, 14 culture per turn? And 14 amenities? It's so good. I just explained it. Please explain why Colosseum is glorious. Uh, 14, 14 culture and 14 amenities? That's amazing. <laughs> no, no, no. It was, it was, it was just well timed. Nine of Spades. I loved it. Uh, that, that is why it's so freaking good. It, it, the loyalty is kind of whatever. Uh, but, but that's a huge chunk of culture for us to get. Not to mention the amenities. Amenities are eh, so so. So so. So I guess then let's go ahead and bring over builders and try to chop out Colosseum. See if we can get it. I'm going to go for more builders. I want to chop up this land before we get our districts. I got Magnus there already. All right, I think we deterred Scythia somehow. By just moving our army over there. Hello, Master Man. Way. If it's natural to Are we really just going to go with one theater square? No, we'll get more. not buying farmland. That's where the entertainment complex goes. Oh, I want to send this off before we change policies. Let's go ahead and grab that culture now. Get rid of Diplo League. Serfdom is still very, very important. We can bring in the Wonder Policy, but I need the Coliseum and the Arena. We should save up enough money to buy the Arena. Um, so I don't need to run this quite yet. My yeah. wife's boyfriend is about to be home and will kick me off the internet. <laughs> Need to get uh, my sub in before this happens. <laughs> I'm confused by your situation, but that's awesome. More power to you, butters. No kink shaming here. Thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back with that prime sub. Good to have you here. I appreciate it. <laughs> I have questions for you, but maybe maybe we can ask. I can ask you them off stream. Not the Wonders card. We're not building a Wonder yet, right? Like, we have to build the Entertainment Complex and get the Arena before we're actually starting the Wonder. And if you look at the timing of things, right? Like, I can definitely make it to Mercenaries before I need it. But I do want to go to Recorded History. It, this is a bunch of quick policy changes, though. I wonder if I'm, I, I shouldn't go there quite yet. Let's go six turns here. Try to chop this out. I don't really want to chop too much for the Entertainment Complex, but I might just commit to it. Uh, because if we get this Coliseum, it's pretty game-changing. I think I'm going to start working up the top half of the tech tree. Let's get more luxuries.
It is not that I would really like to chop for population. The more tiles we work, the better. All these chops ahead of us. And we already own all this territory. So I'll try to make them there. I'm not unlock machinery. We're not going to get kill wire or anything. But having access to crossbows could be a thing. So ideally, we're saving our chops for the wonder itself and letting the district build naturally. I could have skipped the, the monument and gone right for the district to speed it up. But we'll probably, we'll probably commit a couple chops just for the district itself, assuming my builders get there on time. Again, I think I'm going to give her this. It's scary giving my my threatening neighbor a bunch of iron, but I want to make trades. Um, it's it's per turn, and, and so it's really not that bad. Uh, but I want to make any trades that really kind of come my way to, to improve our diplomacy. I've played all the scenarios, Bree. I just I just don't like playing them 50 million times. Is the eruption thing DLC? This is Gathering Storm. This is a Gathering Storm mechanic. Disasters and volcanoes and things like that. So I will need a spot to build it. Um, we're pretty close. Right. Now, let's see. So five turns. Five turns gets me 325 uh, gold. So that gets me to 578. So I need about 20 gold. And I can just let this build naturally, keep these guys ready, buy the arena, chop this on the last turn. but I need 20 gold somehow. It's close. Was that the same as 10? I wonder if that was the same as anything else. That covers me. All right, good deal. Um, I want to get these closer to ready, but I'm on. I'm on. I'm in builder mode now. We need all the builders. And I can't. I can't really make my Petra play yet. I don't have the money to buy these tiles. I, I, I'll. I'll value the Colosseum higher than than most anything else at the moment. Ah, thanks, Blue Wings. We'll make a turn one hundred save. Sure. Alrighty. Fairly happy cities. Imagine the whole world. So mercenaries next turn. I can hold that because I want to. I want to time that exactly with this three here, so that I can put the policy card in. Uh, I need. I need as much money as I can, right? So I'm going to sub out conscription for it. Um, so I need the gold per turn so I can afford the arena. 
New player loved playing Maori at Prince on Terra. Is Maori a good sieve for beginners? If you're having fun with it, it's a great sieve, right? Like if you're having fun with it and it's keeping you coming back to the game, I don't care who you play as a beginner, um, just enjoy it because everyone's going to enjoy different aspects of the game, right? So if, if they work well for you, great. Uh, my go-to recommendation for new players tends to be roam uh, because they, they are a powerful sieve and you don't necessarily have to know all the ins and outs of the game to take advantage of their power. Uh, it's just kind of there, which is awesome. So, uh, but yeah, play whoever you want to to get to get going with it. Yeah, Maori's super fun. They're super unique. I wanted to avoid this, Crap. you know, but your idea of peace left. Alrighty, uh, Sacrador, how you doing, buddy? What's happening? All right, so let's respond to this. I don't want to move everybody, but I probably should. I probably should. All right. Well, with that declaration of war, we're about to make our Coliseum play and things like that. Uh, let's go ahead and pull back. Uh, or, or, or not pull back. <laughs> let's put a pin in the video for now. Uh, and we will see you all on the next one. Thank you so much if you're watching over on YouTube. And go, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Come join us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.